Hello! Welcome to today's video on my channel, which is going to be a get ready with me, although I'm not really going anywhere. I am recovering from surgery, which you probably picked up from the title of the video. I will be talking a little bit more about that and also update on my Air Force career. Um, I was denied Palace Chase, so if you've been following along on my journey where I was hoping to switch to the reserves, you might be curious to hear what's new basically in my life. So it's gonna be a chill video just talking about stuff that's going on and uh, that's about it. So if you are free and would like to spend some time with me today, then uh, I hope you enjoy. I kind of want to be really bold today, so I'll be using the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette and it has just a bunch of matte, really bright rainbow shades. So I'm kind of feeling pink today. Either these pink right here or the purples. So I am going to go in that direction and if I need any sort of blending shades, I might go into the James Charles palette because he has a few pink shades that are like lighter that I can blend. Either way, that's where I'm going. So uh, I'm going to prime first using some MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I think I'm going to end up putting a lighter concealer under my brow because Painterly is darker or like as dark as my skin tone. So I like the under brow to be a bit brighter. All right, and that's cold. That is cold. Okay, it's okay. We have water. Stand by. I'll zoom in just like a smidge. So I'm taking a tiny little fluffy brush. This is an M321, and I'm gonna go into the shade Bossed Up first. This method of using like the darker shade first uh, works really well if you don't set your eye base and you like like the pack of color. So that's what I'm going for today. So I am just going to pack that right at the end of the crease and sort of uh, go from there. If you came here because of the video title, I sort of wanted to start talking about that and mention, although it seems sort of like a bummer title, it's just my life at the moment and I'm not like super negative about anything, really, actually. <laughs> So, I did want to sort of talk about an update, what's going on, fill you in, um, and I don't know, just give you the inside scoop. First things first, I was unfortunately denied for Palace Chase. If you saw my most recent video, um, I sort of explain I was trying to switch into the reserves from active duty, what I am now. Uh, through a program called Palace Chase. Now, the program is not guaranteed as I am able to prove today, but um, I just got the word a few days ago that I was denied because of Manning. So there's a few things that can impact um, whether or not you're approved or denied. And one of those things is if your career field, so in my case, photojournalism or public affairs more generally, is sort of low on people. They don't have enough people to be giving up, essentially, is what the Air Force Personnel Center decided for me. So I can reapply if I want to in 120 days, but for now I am sitting pretty active duty here in North Dakota. So I'm not super bummed out by it honestly I mean don't get me wrong I would love to be in Florida I would love to be in the reserve so that I can focus on other parts of my life other than the military but that's not happening so I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and focusing on right now and what I'm doing right now a big reason I wanted to switch was in order to pursue other paths that I am sort of interested in and of course, being closer to family is so incredibly important to me and then to Lewis. So not only was I looking forward to it, but he was looking forward to it. And I think he is way, way, way more upset by the denial than I am. But don't tell him that. 
<laughs> Luckily, he doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> I'm done packing on the color now, by the way. I'm sort of just tapping on the edges with whatever's left on the brush. That way, I get a start of a blend. Yeah, so Louis is really upset. <laughs> and I feel bad because I'm not as upset. And I don't know. I, I feel kind of bad for not being able to, like, be on his level. I think it's just a matter of... I am finally comfortable where I am and although North Dakota isn't my top choice of places to be, I'm happy around the people I work with, I'm happy with the job I have, and I'm happy with the fact I'm living in this house <laughs> and like life right now is not something that's against me is how I see it. I am just sort of chilling. Whatever happens, happens honestly. I kind of finished just diffusing that edge so I can go in with the next color, this pink one, Party Drip. I'm just going to use the same brush and sort of apply that right over top of it below the smooth edge. So I just want a really smooth transition between the two, between that sort of fuchsia and then this really bright neon pink. So I'm just going to get that going. These shades blend really nicely, I would like to say. Um, sort of better than the James Charles palette and that's just... I'm just smoothing out party drip over that purple and really blending the two together and patting. I'm not swiping at all. This patting motion is just gonna help me blend and create a really nice soft crease. I'm gonna dip into a light pink from James Charles palette. This is, I think it's called Pinkity Drinkity. So I'll use that right on top of the edges right there. So moving on, let's talk about the other thing you probably saw in the title and are curious about hearing. Um, basically at the beginning of this week I had a diagnostic laparoscopy surgery to determine that yes, I do indeed have endometriosis. <laughs> that was a long sentence. So, endometriosis, what is it? I'll put a little definition here so that I'm not wrong. But basically it's when tissue grows where it's not supposed to. So in my case it was like on my uterus, outside of my uterus. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about like a whole lot because I'm making a dedicated video about it. But I will say, I feel really good knowing I finally have an answer for the problems I've been having for five, six years since I was in high school. And I'm not saying it's like a good thing to have, but when I, for a majority of my womanhood, if you want to call it that, majority of my periods, I had debilitating pain. Like I wanted to die. It was awful. So, uh, I went on birth control at one point, which helped, and then I got off because I was just having like a bad time, and anyways, you don't need the full story. I went to the doctors provided to me by the military, saying, hey, I don't want birth control, ibuprofen isn't working, I need something stronger. <laughs> I need something stronger because I want to die when I'm on my period. And they were not helpful to say the least and that was really frustrating for me because I think they thought I was being really dramatic or they thought I was like I don't know looking for drugs or that's probably not what they thought but nonetheless I needed help and I wasn't getting it so after being turned away saying look you can have birth control or Motrin I was like how about you give me a referral to a gynecologist because I need a professional. <laughs> After I went to go see the gynecologist, told them what was wrong with me, they just sort of suggested, all right, well, it seems like the next thing is getting that surgery to see what's going on inside. And that's exactly what I did. So that's what I did on Monday. Today is Friday. We found out that I indeed have that, which was a relief to me because, um, it made me feel like, okay, good, I'm, I'm not crazy. I, I wasn't supposed to be feeling that way. And uh, 
it's just crazy to think there's probably so many other women out there going through the same thing which is why I kind of want to make a video about it because that's not right for people to doubt what we say or just not know or <sighs> we need people to help us <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna make my little video about that and if you are curious about watching it um, it should be coming a couple days or a week after this video I'm gonna go ahead and take a white concealer this one's from ColourPop and I'm gonna take a flat brush in order to cut this crease After about halfway, I'm going to start wiping off the product from the brush and just patting back and forth in order to sort of blend the two together. And then now to clean up a little bit because the concealer is dried down over here, I'm going to go back into Bossed Up, that purple shade, and just tap it on the edge to really get that blend. I have this pressed pigment, well, it was a loose pigment from MAC, and I'm not sure what the name is because I put it in a pan. You see this one right here, this sort of pinky, purpley one? I'll give you a little swatch. So it's very silvery and light, but it has like a pinky shift. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add on liner, lashes, and brow before coming back with the other side done so we can finish the face. And <coughs> And we are rolling. I went ahead and used the Pretty Vulgar ink pot and then these lashes that I got from Walmart from Salon Perfect in style 663. They are actually quite nice. And I think I paid like $8, $10 and they're really fluffy and nice. I'm gonna prime using the Cover FX Gripping Primer. I did wash and moisturize my face but then I had a bunch of fallout under my eyes so I'm just gonna do this extra little step get it nice and sticky and I have a new face product to use today well it's just the concealer the infallible full wear concealer should I actually you know what I'll wear the L'Oreal infallible fresh wear foundation too because I think it's a little bit lighter than my Lancome but don't get me wrong, that Lancome is my tried and true. That's my favorite foundation. And give me one pump. And start stippling that on. Wow, that's like a really good match. And let's try this concealer. I picked up the shade 345 Oatmeal. <laughs> um, now the foot applicator, the doe foot applicator, is super big. Like, I think it's bigger than the Tarte Shape Tape one, if I'm not. Oh! What? They're like the same size. Whoa! Literally the same size. Okay, so I wonder if that's like its competitor and if that's what they're trying to recreate. So let's just do a little dab. I am not the biggest fan. Oh no, I got, I got pink on my brush. I, I'm not the biggest fan of doing like the whole uh, so much concealer. Um, I think a little goes a long way and people are tripping when they use way more than they have to. I'm just gonna, this one smells weird too. Tap under the eyes. Wow. What? Excuse me. Ooh. I'm gonna bronze as well since we're you know taking it there using the 
Fenty Beauty Mocha Match Sticks and a little angled brush. I could do no blush, but I think I'm going to try the... Come over here. The oldie but goodie. I think this is Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. So it's very light, subtle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply that with a blush brush from Real Techniques. Get all my cat hair out of it. And then dust that over the cheeks. Oh! <sighs> There's a lot of fallout. Okay. Need a mirror. But I had a mirror. Just a little something, something. I have a Pat McGrath lip liner. And this is kind of the same color as my lips, so it works. This is in Done Undone. So I'm going to take this gloss in the shade Pisces. I'm in Aries, but this gloss is popping. Ah -ha -ha! Oh, wow. You can really see the blue glitters in the light. This is really pretty. Alright, well that's it. I know I didn't talk a whole lot and it was kind of more makeup, but for me it was nice because, you know, I've been laying in bed for the past three days and sometimes I just need to get back at it. So I appreciate you sticking through the video if you did and watching at all. Your time is very much appreciated by me and I will definitely have the dedicated video about my endometriosis situation up soon following this video and uh stay tuned for more air force journey from me because now that i have a chance to pursue something else other than palace chase i might be looking at other options when it comes to um getting stationed somewhere else so who knows i am uh, just as lost as you might be and that that's the that on that <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next video and i hope you have a good day bye